Hello, Tellmange here, playing ILT Summervic 1946 again, and um, I'm continuing onwards with the Glowing Glory com campaign, um, and it's mission number, I don't even know, eight or something, I can't remember, maybe it's more than that, I don't know. Anyway, um, let's read the briefing. New weapon, 21st of March 1945, 40 minutes past five in the evening, location Konoya. Unfortunately, most of the air groups were unable to mount a serious challenge to the Americans. Japanese army pilots, poorly trained and equipped, suffered heavy losses. Few of the new army pilots ever returned from their first dogfight. Most didn't even see their attackers. Americans, on the other hand, were eager to claim victories. They chased down our pilots with incredible tenacity, apparently resolved to gain their five kills and earn the coveted title. That's the title of Ace, if you didn't know. Um, some didn't seem to care for their objective or for their squad mates, instead of breaking formation and chasing any plane in sight. Stories like that only increased our disdain for the enemy. Mission Briefing In the afternoon, Admiral Ugaki himself decided to mount a return strike on the American carriers. The 711th attack Hikotai, based at Konoya, would play the leading role. 711th pilots were trained on the fearsome new weapon, the Oka Glider, with five rockets up its tail, and a ton of explosives in its nose. According to the daring plan, the Type 1 land attack planes would carry their flying bombs in broad daylight and launch them from 6,000 meters when they sighted the enemy carriers. Immediate cover for the strike group would be provided by Type Zeros of the 721st Kotokai, the Heavenly Thunder. Myself and other 332nd pilots would fly to the north of the main thrust, clearing the air of any enemy planes and also serving as an early warning and air control unit. Unfortunately, takeoff orders were received somewhat late, and we'll have to take off and proceed to target at full throttle in order to catch up with our package. Uh, your objective, take off, climb to 6,000 meters, clear the designated airspace. Uh, 8 fighter Raiden model 33s, take off at 1740 heading southeast, target altitude 6,000 meters, stay on course. Okay, so we're still using these things, which, as uh, I think a few commenters have pointed out, it was designed to attack B-29s. Um, so I assume it's not really a, a fighter in terms of fighting other fighter planes. It's a, a bomber fighter, if you see what I mean. Um, so I'm not sure how well we're going to do with this in uh, clearing airspace, but we'll try our best. Um, so we head out this way, out into the ocean, shoot down anything that we see, and then head back, I guess. All right, okay, let's give it a go. I'll click fly and I'll see you in the cockpit. Okay, and here we are. Oh, what's this? Planes. Planes and things. Uh, so this is me and my uh, bare metal paint scheme. And it's getting close to night time. Sun is starting to set. And... Um, yeah, let's head out and shoot some things down, hopefully. Um, thanks for all the comments in previous videos, especially from people trying to give me tips on how best to attack bombers, for example, and, um, and how to manage my engine and things like that. I appreciate it. Um, the problem is, when it gets into heat of battle, I tend to forget that advice, so don't be surprised if I keep making the same stupid mistakes. Um, okay, I think we're about ready. All my comrades have uh, started up their engines. So, it's time to go. Applying full right rudder to counteract the engine torque as usual. Nose dipping down. to get to about 200 kilometers an hour, which is now, we can start to gently lift off and gear up. Flaps up, fuel mixture down. And let's make sure we're heading on the right course. Throttle down a bit as well. Open the radiator.
pop pitch down and we're away. What are you doing out here, Moon? It's daytime. Should be coming out at night, not in the day. Oh, truck I are cocking up again. I had um, I did a test flight just now to make sure the truck IR was working okay. Kind of um, glitched out a few times at the start, but then it managed to settle in. So hopefully that won't happen too many times. But I think it probably is a problem with light from the window behind me. I don't know if I've mentioned, but um, I live in an attic room, so the window has a blind, not a set curtain, so it lets sun through the sides, which I can't really do very much about unless I tape it all up. Um, so, yeah, but we'll see how that goes. Um, this is going to take a while to climb to altitude and uh, reach our control area, so to speak. So, I'll do the usual um, thing I do, which is to skip ahead to the action. So, see you shortly. Okay, oh. Yeah, I just noticed my uh, my squad mates peeling off, so uh, I assume that we spotted some enemies, and we have got some F6Fs, which I cannot remember if they're the Hellcats or or the whatever else the other ones are called. So, yeah, we have engaged the enemy. We've got some more guys down here. Um, now I think I need to bear in mind that this plane is a boom and zoom type machine. I don't want to be getting into any turn fights and I need to try and use the altitude to my advantage. So therefore attacking these planes over here seems to be the most logical thing to do. Oh, oh, there's a there's a Japanese bomber over there, G4M, a Betty, I think, which is being attacked. So we need to protect those. So I'll head over this way. Maybe I might be able to slot in behind these gentlemen if they don't see me. Close the radiator. Not really catching up to the moment. They're diving on this uh, bomber here. this target try and leave it until we get as close as possible oh, that got him didn't really seem to take any evasive action whatsoever which is a bit weird but fair enough I don't know if he's going down but something definitely broke off his plane, I think. Now, let's try this one. And... Try to get a good shot. That wasn't a good shot. Damn it! Stay still. This should be easy. I mean, he's hardly moving at all. I think it just shows how much I've got to learn about aiming. But as I think I've noted before, my plane isn't particularly 
maneuverable either. I should really take a look behind me, make sure there's nothing there, and there isn't, it's not near anyway. He's climbing. Damn it, come on! Now I've stalled. Okay, where do you go? There he is, I think. My wingman is right behind me. Well, he, he's doing his job. And now it looks as though I thought I saw a red thing, a red, uh, red lettering coming after me, but. This have vanished. And where are we? We're still quite high, we're at uh, almost 6,000 meters. And now I am being attacked. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, stall, 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 I've stalled. Put the nose down, use rudder to counteract. Whoa. Just turn the tables on this guy. He's kind of going into a strange death spin, so I'll, I'll leave him to do that. Climb back up. I don't know where my wingman went. So this guy's now climbing back up at me. Oh god, oh god, this isn't good. A lot of other planes have just turned up. And it's just me and my wingman. Oh my God. Just fighting this plane is so difficult to manoeuvre. This is not what it was designed for. It's going still behind me. All I can think of doing is Oh my god, oh god. What was that? Something's diving in on me. I don't know if it's enemy or friendly. Ah, what do we have here? Um, I need to try and take this opportunity while I'm behind these guys. Too far away to really f fire at this guy, but try using flaps. Oh no, track IR, come on! Not now. Oh, oh. I apologize for this, but it's not my fault. Aha, good. We've got some friends. That's just what I needed. I've had the uh, radiator on position 4 for quite a while, and luckily I haven't had any radiator issues, well, engine heating issues, but uh, I do have some other technical problems. Let's try diving in here. A couple of hits. I don't know 
know what that was. Ah! Whoa! Oh my god. I've got no wing! Bail out! Bail out! Bail out! No! God damn it! Oh, I did not even see that coming. Or hear it or anything. Let's see what else is going on. Here's a plane flying around. Um, big dogfight going on here. That's uh, why you need to keep an eye out behind you at all times. I pushed my look there and I pushed it too far. This guy's been shot a bit. He's got somebody right behind him. Oh, he's on fire, he's dead. Get out! See, why, why couldn't my man have done that? Cockpit. Oh, that was exploded. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, okay. Well, this guy's in trouble. And then we're back to this guy. Okay, let's look at the enemies. Oh. I thought we were doing quite well, actually, up until I got shot down, obviously. And when my uh, comrades turned up, I thought that uh, things had... <laughs> I thought that things had um, turned around for me, but obviously not. You know, the carriers they look pretty unharmed. I think we were just um, clearing the air as ready for this crazy attack they were talking about. Okay, well, um, it's showing I have 10 enemy aircraft kills. I think I had that before, though. So I didn't get any kills during that sortie, but I'm going to have to refly, refly it anyway. So that's what I'll do. Um, and I will cut forwards to when we engage the enemy once again. Okay, you join me back in the plane, and um, I'm flying near these bombers that uh, were under attack last time, so I'm going to head over towards them. As I presume that is where the enemy fighters will be, and there they are, fighting some zeros. Let's order patrol to send more fighters this way. Some guys diving in on us, it looks like, or diving in on the bombers, maybe. Yep, that's what they're doing. They're going to have a speed advantage because they start off higher. Oh. Okay. But it looks like we have a lot more in terms of support this time. And this guy's coming near, so... Those bombers alone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, oh, God. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Oh, my God. 
Wow. <sighs> that was crazy. <laughs> we must have been millimeters apart. Oh boy, okay, well, where are we now then? Uh, kind of lost a lot of people. I don't know where the guy I was shooting at has vanished to. Maybe he's gone down. There's some guys over here, but then all my friends are over here, so I'll stay in this area for safety. This guy is trying to attack some of my friends. So I need to get in there and help. The wingman is behind me, I can see, so that's good. Should protect me. I'm slowly closing in on this guy. And now he knows I'm there. So I'll go with him. Have a hit there. Still diving and we're going extremely fast now. Something is diving as well after me as well, I can hear it. What is that? Where is it? Oh, it's a friend. Good. Thank God. I'm much lower down now, so I'll put my engine mix up. What's this guy doing? Let's see if we can do a kind of intercept here. Now he's climbing, but I think I might be better at climbing than he is. It's there. Got him, got him, got him. And why not go after this guy as well? This might be foolhardy, but let's see what happens. Target destroyed. Oh god, something something just broke off my plane. Someone's dead. Yeah, the G-forces there ripped something off me. I don't know what. Hopefully nothing important. We can put the supercharger down now because we're at low altitude and put the mix up to 100%. Oh, uh, and we have a few targets here. Let's try this one by himself. Climbing. I don't have enough speed. A little hit on his wingtip, but nothing 
serious. And now I've stalled. Hell, I was helpless there. I don't know something's behind me. Oh, why can't I? I can't pull up. I can't pull up. No. God damn! God damn! Son of a bitch! You must have damaged me. Ripped off my elevators or something. Couldn't pull up at all. Well, so that was take two of the mission. I shot something down, but I got too cocky. Ends up stalling and then left hanging helpless in the air while a plane just came in and shot the shit out of me. This is what's happening elsewhere. Got a bad engine. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Okay, well, quit the mission. As you can see, we got one kill on that mission, but that will not stand, so I'll have to refly it again. I've now lost eight aircraft. Total missions flown. That should be seven, I think. Um, so yeah, I think that's the end of this uh, video. So I'll have to come back and see if I manage to. Um, survive next time um, and I think third time through we've got to the point where it's more about survival than getting kills so uh, that's what I'm going to concentrate on and hopefully we can progress in the campaign so I'll see you then